Hey there, Mech Warriors. Or whatever I guess I should call y'all. But yeah, hey everybody. And uh, yeah, back in Mech Warrior here. Playing around. I'm probably going to give this this build of this mech one more go through before I actually change it up. I was uh, talking it over with someone and they are actually giving me some good advice. I actually am going to, instead of going like Jaeger mech or Cataphrac or anything like that, what I'm going to do is keep working and then buy the different Shadowhawks. I'm going to buy all three variants, work on getting the masteries for them, and once I purchase all three, then I'll go and uh, go and work on purchasing another mech type. So I kind of want to buy them in their in their groupings, getting them all in the same uh, same go. That way I'm not too overly uh, worried about anything else, and it kind of works out that way. So that is my game plan. That way, uh, yeah. So different Shadowhawks. So I've looked up a few different builds. I'm actually going to try and do one here after this battle and another. I want to play that Cataphract again because that thing's boss. It's just pretty freaking awesome. But yeah, I mean, other than that, I actually did get a chance to play some tabletop Mech Warrior. Well, um, Battletech, but Mech Warrior nonetheless. The uh, the other day, it was actually kind of interesting. So I gotta, it's I've never actually played it before. So it was nice to get a little bit more history, see how things work, and you know, see what's in the game, what isn't in the game, stuff like that. So it's kind of cool to figure out how that stuff all works, how you know, certain things correspond, how the different, you know, mechs work, how there's actually, like, punching and kicking, and all sorts of crazy stuff. But, yeah, so, anyway, enough of that, Jazz. Now that I, uh, now that I got that under my belt, I kind of have a better appreciation for Mech Warrior. So, now let's, uh, let's actually try and use some of these skills, you know, in this game here, and, uh, yeah, get some kills if we can ever find the enemy. We took the, like, most ridiculously long route to get up here to the top ever. And, uh, it looks like we're getting laid out over there by, by something. Alright, so we want to get up here and we want to be careful about what we see and what we fire at. Alright, um, there we go. Oop, that was a little premature. Oop, I see some Artemis going over there. Not Artemis, uh, AMS. Alright, I don't... Oof, I hit him. Of course, I also ended up shooting the uh, little thing right next to me. Well, can't just sit back and do nothing. We need to need to advance here. And no, I'm not exactly a brawler per se. But I think he just got crushed. Did he? No idea. But we can still launch missiles. What would be nice, though, is if I actually hit him with these damn missiles. I have stuff all around me. Ooh, good. Weapon jam. That is one problem using ultras. And actually, why I'm moving away from ultras and it is something else. Because it seems as though it's a little difficult to, uh, effectively hit. Yikes. Well, I don't know if I can actually hit... Ah, I keep jamming up. I feel like I'm shooting up and over this dude. And I don't want to, like, you know, kill him or anything. Now, this guy kind of ran down that way. We have somebody who's... Oh, God, this guy right here. Oof. We got him. I was, of course, I pulled the trigger on those missiles. It's kind of like Target a acquired. quick reaction. Probably wasn't exactly the smart thing to do, but... Ooh. Well, he's missing an arm. Damn Highlander. Come on. We got someone else below us. Who I... Oh, no, he's not below us. He's just running around us. Where, oh, whoa, God, don't go off into the lava. That'd be terrible. Alright, so he's down. So I'm helping out with these assists here. Of course, I'm not, you know, necessarily getting kills or anything, but... Eh. Alright, got someone behind us now. Two people behind us. Alright, well, this guy might be easier to deal with. He's an awesome. Let's not go deal with an awesome. Now we can... 
might need to. Actually, his center chest is kind of torn up. Ow! The hell? He's got shot by something over here. Oh god. Yep, that's not good. Oh gosh, turn, run, 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 run. And let's not go over there again. That's a lot of big stuff. Let's uh let's deal with this guy instead. He might be an awesome, but at least I can, you know, deal with him with all these other buddies I have. I can't deal with all those guys. Battlemaster. Come on, Battlemaster. I'm just launching missiles above this guy's head. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. Oof. Um, there we go. Also, weapon needs to stop jamming. Man, we were just picking on this poor Battlemaster. He's just getting crushed. There we go. Nice teamwork. Alright, now we gotta worry about these guys that are over here. Which, there was a lot of them. Alright, so, anyway. Definitely working with teammates is, like, almost completely and utterly essential. If you don't, well, good luck. Lock on. Yep, that was a waste. Yeah, so if you aren't working with teammates, good luck, because you can't go solo. There's just no way. It does not work that way. It does not happen that way. You have to stick together with people. I'm learning that, I want to say, the hard way, but not really the hard way. I'm just learning that because that's kind of what's going on. If you, if you aren't doing it, you're, you're pretty much dead. Wow, it's almost impossible to get a lock on this guy because he's, uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, ECM. Oof. Oof. Oh, I got the kill on him. Sweet. Come on. Alright, got the assist on him. Man, I'm not doing bad. I'm not doing good, but I'm not doing bad. There's not many of them left. Target acquired. There we go. We got him. Looks like that guy almost death from above him. So, good little battle there. Got a kill, I believe. Have to see what else happens here. But I definitely want to change up this mech. I want to get rid of that Ultra AC and those missiles. I'm not a fan of the missiles. As much as I thought I was going to be, it just isn't working out the way I thought. Ooh, good monies. All right, well, eh, not that much damage. Anyway, let's back out of this, and we'll hop into another mech. We'll hop into that Trial Cataphract, and then I'll try and build out the mech I want to build out, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, time to Cataphract some people up. Ooh, that guy's fast. All right, let's try and stick with our team. I can jump. I do have jets. Don't know how many. 64 kilometers is kind of fast, but not too, too fast. But yeah, I'm, I'm digging the uh, the LBX, actually. That thing is pretty freaking nasty. Basically a shotgun from uh, my recollection of it all. But yeah, Target so required. I'm not digging the LRMs as much as I thought I was going to. It seems like they're just a little too difficult to make, you know, really effective. Just seem to keep running into the issue where you just... you. They're either the terrain's intervening and creates a problem, or stuff acquired. like that. It's just, or I snap fire way too close. Oh man, I just. Oh, we're we're in the middle of a bad bad situation here. Man, I just took hits I didn't want to take. Yep, let's let's start backing up here. All right. Now that I did all that, let's let's get out of here. Man, oh man, that was whatever came around that bend hurt. I was not ready for that thing. I have no idea what it was, but it was uh, it caught me off guard to say the least. Acquired. All right, well he's not there. Target acquired. Oh god, that's a lot of lasers. There we go. At least I hit him coming down. Ooh, missiles all over the place. Whew. All right. Oh gosh, there's the guy I didn't want to see. New target acquired. Target 
Or right. whatever he is, I hit him hard because I just got a soft hit for him and it looks like I just took out an arm. But I know I didn't. I think he's still perfectly fine in there. Alright, well, time to... Oh god, it's an atlas. Oh god, and he's hurting. Oh yeah, that didn't work well at all. Ouch. I kind of went toe-to-toe -to -toe with an atlas and that just... Yeah, well, let's let's try that one again later. I'm actually going to go work and try and build up that mech. Wow, this thing takes a while to re rebuild. Man, I, uh, yeah, A, don't go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, especially when they have an AC-20. All right, so we're rocking a little bit different of a build now, actually. We're running a little bit of a boomstick here. I have an AC-20 now, since I just got killed by one. And I'm also running two mediums, which are kind of similar to before. So what I did was I just changed around the way the armor works out. And, uh, yeah, now I have, uh, three jump jets. I have a faster engine, and uh, yeah, so I think it might be faster, might not be faster, but yeah, so it's a little bit different of a build, it's kind of going to be more of a finesse mech, I'm by no means a brawler, but I'm going to certainly be able to do a crap ton of damage, especially with the, uh, the AC-20 here, and so yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting, it's now very much a boomstick here. And of course, I believe I have enough jump jets to get on top of buildings. Yeah, so now I can really be nasty. Of course, the AC-20 has a very small range. It's kind of more of a shotgun in the grand scheme of things. i got to remember that it's on the, the one trigger. I might actually swap that one around for acquired. to make that on the closer because its range is not nearly as long. And they're all at several hundred. Uh, nowhere even close to me. Ooh, I wish I just hit him. That would have been beautiful if I did. But yeah, so... Something to remember is that uh, aiming on the move like this, especially at night, not easy. Looks like that guy next to me might have an AC-20, but yeah, it's... Uh, AC-20s are freaking awesome if I hit. You're just going to see people get a little bit... A uh, little scared. So we need to go and position ourselves appropriately. Gotta remember what arm has what, and I'm actually good at pop-tarting, apparently, according to the build on this mech. So it really doesn't have much armor on the left arm. It has a, you know, the armor it needs to, just to get by, to give me tonnage. That's really about it. Everything else is kind of in the, uh, in other areas. Alright, let's see if we actually can go and dish out with him a little bit closer range here with the 20. Oof. That was a nasty hit I didn't want to take. Oh, and I missed. Alrighty, well, we'll just get closer here. And we'll deal with them that way. There we go. Man, I hate the fact that I missed with the AC-20, especially with the... How many rounds do I have? 26 rounds? So not a whole heck of a lot. Oh god, let's get underneath, under here, where I can at least not eat all these missiles. Perfect. Alright, so he just got hit by my, uh, 20. Alright, come on. Woohoo! Man, does this thing do a lot of damage. I miss, obviously. Oh, I'm getting hit by stuff. Okay. Need to stop being all fancy and stuff and, uh, play smart. Alright. I'm not actually hitting at all here. I need to... Come on. Come on. Do the smart thing. There we go. And now I got someone else shooting my one arm. Alright, let's turn to where my torso is. There we go. Okay. I think it was the spider that was shooting at me. Yeah, it was the spider. Okay, so you were that little annoying guy. Oh god, I might have just killed a teammate. Alright, we gotta watch out. We, we've been getting just... Rot. Alright, let's uh... Let's play this one a little smarter, a little more carefully. I'm very much a... Much closer range mech than what I have been fighting at. So we need to be... Alright, so he's dead. There's some dude over here. 
Alright. It's just this flame. Ooh! Not good. We don't need it though, that's our absorption one. So that's good. That's our, uh... That's our one that we can actually ditch and not worry about. That's our soak damage arm. So we're good so far. This guy just die? Yes, he did. Alright, so... Oh man, come on. Ooh. Let's get behind here. Let's see if we can't do this a little bit smarter. I have my arm gone, which I don't need. I need to learn how to lead a little bit better with that cannon. Because the AC-20 is nasty if you hit. But I gotta hit. And that's something I'm not too good at. Ooh, that one did, though. Man, I'll tell you what, when this thing does hit... Yeah, got him. When this thing does hit, it hurts. Ooh. There we go. I hit him a bunch. Alright, we just need to survive. Yeah, I gotta I gotta learn to account for travel time with some of these shells. Because that is uh not exactly the easiest. But I am really digging this AC twenty when I do actually hit. It just feels like it's a ton of bricks. So certainly something that I uh I'm digging I think is a actually a good choice. Yeah. Might be low on ammo. But I'm hurting. I'm also hurting myself too. Oh god. I'm like getting massive hits against me. Come on. Yeah! I kill well, I helped kill him. Holy crap, that AC20 is amazing with how much damage it does. I think this mech is pretty, uh, pretty cool. I did take, you know, a decent amount of damage. I absorbed a lot of it. Where did I do? 300 damage? That's pretty good for me. I mean, that's actually kind of towards the top of my damage range. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah, AC20 all the way. Alright, so let's go back, try that cataphract, and then uh, probably wrap it up there. Alright, so I'm actually going through right now and unlocking these skills here that I never really uh, looked into until now. And it's not that bad. Some of these are actually very useful. Some, eh, not exactly the most useful thing, but still. Like the, um, what is it? Uh, ooh, increased turning speed is useful. I mean, some of these things, yeah, they're definitely super useful. I do have the experience to burn on the Shadowhawk itself. What I gotta do is I gotta go through these anyway. So, we'll probably work on upgrading these things here. I don't know what else I want. Arm movement, not really worried about. Speed of which you can twist my torso. Uh, decreased deceleration. Yes, I kind of want to be able to stop a little quicker. Yes, please. So, I have general experience and I have mech experience. This is all experience that I've earned playing this mech. So it's actually not bad at all, but of course, if I do this properly, increase the amount of uh, twist in the upper torso, not worried about that, increase the speed in which the bayonet can twist, yes, that's something useful. Alright, can only really unlock one more of these things, so let's go ahead and unlock, well, we'll wait, because I kind of want to get the, uh, the turn speed. So we'll come back to that, but not bad. I unlocked a bunch of these, so let's go ahead and swap to the uh, the cataphract, and we'll go into a battle with him. All right, minor computer crashing issues, but I mean, that's to be expected here. It is what it is. Ooh, that thing uh, has a lot of jump jet ability. All right, well, let's get back inside. And let's go on a trip, shall we? We'll go to Kappa, try and protect it. Man, I'll tell you what, that, uh... That, that mech I made is really meant for close combat with its weapon systems, but good god does it hurt when it hits. That AC-20, man. Ooh, I think I found something I like. AC-20's, uh... I need to adjust for lead time. That's something I'm still working on here. But once I once I get that down, it shouldn't be a problem at all. Just having to learn how to make that, you know, work properly. 
Ooh. I bet he just regretted that one. Alright, well, they uh, they apparently captured that right out from under us, but I still wrecked shop with uh, that one dude who was just sitting there. Was both lasers firing. No problem whatsoever. Alright, and... Alright, let's get down here and retake from them. Get over here. Alright, get behind it so we can't take hits from the nice lovely LRMs which are probably going to be coming down at any point in time. But yeah, so that was actually kind of awesome. I just kind of caught those guys out of the corner of my eye. Apparently I just did soft spot damage. I don't know how. Um, okay. Well, um, who might argue when that happens? But yeah, so I need to learn to adjust for the lead time on those weapons. Once that's done, it's not that bad that uh, AC-20 can acquired. really lay a, a hurting on people. So, just need to figure out the lead time on it and how far I need to uh, aim it. I know it's only 300 meter range and everything else, but it's, uh, yeah, need to be a little bit better with at playing with that thing. So we will have to practice and practice and practice some more. And eventually we'll do very well in it. But in the meantime, we'll just have a little fun here. Because I mean, I really did end up liking the, uh, uh, that build that I just had. Of course, if you guys want it, I can post up where it is. But if you actually look at the, uh, the forums, it's not too hard to find. Alright, those are friendlies. Just double checking. Alright, let's cross. Try and get over here. Help out some people. Oh, I don't think I have the fuel to get up here. Nope. That was a total blunder. Alright, well. Now we gotta find a new target to go and hit. Let's get up here. Man, it's like we're swarming them. I don't even know where they are, though. Alright, there's stuff over here. Low signal, which means that someone's jamming me. Yeah, oh, this guy. Hi. I guess I wasn't ready for you to be jamming me. There we go. Now that my sensors are not jammed anymore. Hit him a little bit. Let's go chase him down now that I know where he's at. He might, you know, get away from me pretty easily, though. He is a fast cicada. Let's see if I can't find him again. I didn't know that they had jammers like that. That was kind of cool. New target acquired. Oh, there he is. Oh, that was kind of a wasted shot. I don't know why I just did that. Um, let's spin around and take out this uh, Jinner or New Fire Starter acquired. or Centurion either or. Oof. All right. Well, he's missing, you know, part of his body. Good thing I am now wrecking him. Come on, come on. Ooh, I think I just hit his leg. Alright, he's gonna get away from me, but I still did a pretty decent amount of damage to him. I'll tell you what, the strong point of this mech is certainly its uh, damage ability. This thing does a lot of damage and it does it well. Now he's running away over this way. I don't know if I can jump up high enough to get him. What I can do, though, is start spinning to take out some of these guys over here. Especially the, uh, this Jinner. Alright, well, you, sir, you might get away. The Centurion, though, is a major threat. Ooh, he's almost, like, dead, though. Come on. Not enough damage. Ooh, taking hits I don't want to take. Okay, yep, he's hurting. I gotta cool down a bit. Nope, shut down. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. I'm like actually sitting here right in the middle of these guys too. Ooh, good, okay. Alright, alright. Let's, uh... Let's reevaluate our situation. We actually managed to survive without, you know, dying. Ooh, man. All right. Well. New target acquired. Right 
Well, I'm hitting them hard. Of course, I can't direct my damage around if he moves like that. Doing what I can, though. There we go. Oh, I'm shutting out again. I need to be more careful of that, because this thing does overheat a lot. Oh, God. Don't overheat and get killed, please. Whew. Which leg is it? That leg. Alright, we need to watch that heat. There we go. Now we took him down. Alright, now for this guy. Ooh, that got him. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh. Ow, ow, ow. Come on. There we go. Run. I need to run. Oh god, I died. I just wrecked a lot of shop though, but man, I got torn apart there at the end. I just started losing self left and right. Ooh, I did damn near 500 damage. That's awesome. I actually did a lot better than I thought I was going to do. Oh, we still have an Atlas here that's, uh, ooh, they have a, the enemy seems to be doing just great, though. Alright, we seem to have lost that one. But, still, good attempt. I did a lot of damage, actually. I did not know that they were that, you know, doing that much better than us. Well, with that, when this guy dies, I guess we'll wrap it up there. And uh, call it good enough for now. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will uh, catch you in the next one where I'm going to keep working on that AC20 mech that I just built. Because I really am digging him. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot, and I'll catch you later.